What is going on everybody? My name is Radi and you're watching my channel Radi the Brand. Today I have a very quick video for you and that's why I'm not going to do the usual introduction and we're just gonna go straight to the point. So the point is that originally when Adobe XD was released, I was able to design beautiful interfaces and when it came down to exporting them and showing them to clients, the images were as big as the artboard. And I don't know whether you've had this issue, but most of the artboards, for example, if you design for iPhone X, that 375 pixels by 812 pixels, and that's absolutely fine when you design in here, but if you wanted to showcase your work, maybe you want to post it on Dribbble, maybe you wanted to post it on Behance or your website, you want to be able to export this image as high quality as possible, and maybe you want to zoom in as much as possible to show uh, to showcase your design skills or the interface that you've designed and so on. So that was a problem back then and I couldn't find a solution. I tried exporting the file was PNG, JPEG, PDF, and pretty much everything and nothing worked. Now things have changed a little bit and let me show you what I mean. Now, first of all, I have two mockups prepared here in Photoshop. One of them is high resolution and the other one is standard, which would totally fit the artboard that we currently have in Adobe XD. And let me show you what I mean. So for example, this is an app that I actually designed for, for a YouTube tutorial and I will link it in, in the description below. I don't know how good it is, but uh, because that was kind of like one of the first videos that, that I've done. And basically, if I wanted to export this, usually you would go here on the menu, the burger menu on the left side, and you would click export and then all artboards, for example. Now, here is where you would choose what format you would like. And I would usually choose JPEG, PNG, and try to make it as big as possible. Now, I literally tried, as I mentioned earlier, I literally tried every single option in here when Adobe XD originally launched the application and nothing really worked. Now, there is a way now you could, I believe that you could export your file as PDF, drag it into Illustrator, blow it up, and I think that would work, but that's a lot of work. But anyways, let's export this as JPEG. Let's say I want the quality to be 100, uh, percent and to be completely honest you could choose either design or web web uh, actually gives you designed at 1x and 2x which means that it will give you two different versions one will be bigger than the other and let's choose the folder so for this let's go desktop and i will choose export folder so i'm going to select this folder and export now let's go to the export folder now in here we have all the artboards exported and let me delete those four because we won't need them. Now this is the small one here. And as you can see, this is literally tiny and everything looks blurry. So that's unusable. We can delete this. And this is the second one. And this is the actual original artboard size, uh, which is fine, but already like one of you here, you can see that the fonts are getting pixelated. And if I was to zoom in, you will see that the fonts are way too pixelated and it just doesn't look good. Now, I could actually drag this into my mockup, the standard resolution mockup in here. Let's quickly drag it, paste it. And if I do the width to be 100%, this fits absolutely perfectly for my mockup. I can press enter, just align the um, mockup in here, just like this, and save. Now, if we look at this mockup, this looks fine, absolutely fine. We could use this for Instagram. I don't see a problem with it. And if we zoom in, it's not the best. And this is the problem. Like now, if you go to Behance or Dribble websites like that, you wouldn't normally see this because it just looks unprofessional. Everything is pixelated. And I wouldn't advise you to put that on your website either. I had to do this a while back for some of my websites because I didn't actually have the designs made in Adobe XD. So I literally had to take a screenshot and put it into a mockup, stretch it, and it's just not good. Now, if I was to put this in a high resolution mockup, which normally 
there is plenty of mockups that you can download for free and use and there is obviously high quality ones that you can pay for as well and this is a high quality mockup that i have created quickly and if i was to put this in here the same image by the way and drag it as you can see this is already 100 percent and now i literally have to do what i would usually do take a screenshot of a website and literally do this which is not good as you know this is a bitmap this is not vector so as soon as i stretch it things will get blurry just like this it's not ideal but if this is the only way then i i guess there's nothing you can do about it unless you redesign the whole thing then i guess that's fine so i've aligned my screenshot in here let's save it let's close both of them and this is the high resolution one and as you can see now it doesn't look too good if we zoom in again i wouldn't post this on dribble to showcase my work and now i'm going to show you what you have to do to export your designs in much bigger format while they still look really sharp and professional so if you go to adobe xd i don't know whether this is a common sense by the way if you go to adobe xd let's open the plugins panel here on the left side at the bottom Control shift and p and as you can see i have this custom export plugin already installed but of course you can click on the plus sign search for the custom export and just install it it takes a second now i can actually use this custom export plugin to export my artboard into a much bigger format and the quality will be absolutely perfect so let's double click on the artboard that we want to export and i will click on this one just because this is the one that i actually want to export and let's click on the custom export plugin now this is going to ask us okay um, how much do you want to scale this uh, design and I actually haven't calculated it how much uh, I want to uh, blow it up but let's go for something like 6 and you can choose PNG you can choose JPEG it doesn't really matter at this point because the image will be six times bigger than it is now and I think that would be absolutely fine for my mockup that I've created so let's export let's select uh, select folder and did export no okay sometimes it's a little bit buggy so let's do it again so let's export this but before we do that i'm going to change the name just because i've already used this name uh in the previous two exports so i don't want to uh, get it mixed up so let's say high res click on the artboard that we want to export custom export times six will be absolutely fine and then let's just click export select the folder that we want to export this to so this will be the this export folder and click export so if you give it a second you will see that this has exported this file for us and if i double click on this you will see that uh, at the moment it looks pixelated but this is because it's kind of zoomed out and if i double click on it to uh, zoom in you will see that the fonts are actually looking so much better already than the rest let me show you if i click on some of the other ones like this one here you will see the difference already and now let me try this high resolution image in my high resolution mockup so let's go back to the mockups open the high resolution one as and as you can see here we have the blurry image so let's change this super quickly i'm gonna drag the new one and as you can see this one is at 31 percent at the moment so we are gonna have to um, drag it up a little with the transform tool to make it fit just like so and this will be absolutely fine let's go down just like this and let's hide the one below so we can see how to align it a little bit better and now let's say let's go back to the high resolution mockup and as you can see this is looking so much better now i can already imagine if i press tab on photoshop i can already imagine this this being showcased on a portfolio maybe on dribble maybe on behance or your website people can actually zoom in and see all the details that you've put into your beautiful design it doesn't look pixelated it looks professional and i think that's the way it should be so that's pretty much uh, everything i wanted to show you in this video i hope you liked it i hope you find it useful maybe this is a common sense i don't know 
but I didn't know about this export extension for a while and I just wanted to share it with you. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this uh, video useful. If you did, smash the likes, subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions, please feel free to drop me a message in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.